morning, LCMR. And welcome to Laura Kate May Today. I'm Savannah Kang. And I'm Lauren Murphy. And we're your hosts for today's show. First, we have a piece that we made that could affect every woman's life. It's a piece on mammograms and the importance of them. Let's head over to the mobile mammography van to find out more. But this is where the patients okay, come in. This is the mobile okay. mammography van, and this is the uh, reception area. And we kind of turn the seats around, and then we draw. They fill out the forms, and then they go that way to the dressing rooms. The convenience of mobile mammography is that uh, women can come to the unit, uh, have it done, and the information then is uh, saved on digital, and a radiologist will see it and read it, and a copy is sent to their family practitioners, and uh, all the information is there for them for future reference if they need it. It is very important that women get an annual mammogram, and now with mobile mammography, this is made easier. Make sure you take advantage of this. Do something special for yourself. Back to you guys at the news desk. And here we are at the news desk. They were really informative statistics, Laura. Thanks. It's, a, it's really important that everyone goes and gets checked out. Remember to realize how beneficial mobile mammography can be in your future. Well, on a lighter note, let's take it over to John's joke box. Hello, Laura K. May today. Welcome to John's Joke Box. I'm John McDowell. This is my joke box. And today's joke is about people inviting other people to dinner. Boy, I hope they invite me to dinner too. My stomach is hurting me. I'm going to get such a pain. A family was having some people at dinner. At the table, the mother turned to her six-year-old daughter and said, Dear, would you like to say the blessing? I wouldn't know what to say, replied the little girl shyly. Just say what you hear mommy say, Sweeney, said the woman. Her daughter took a deep breath, bowed her head, and said, oh dear lord, why the heck did I invite all these people to dinner? You want to hear a joke that you like to hear on our show? Simple. Just write a joke on a piece of paper, and then sign it with your name and class, and then put it in the joke box. We've located it in the main office. And if it's funny, sort of, not really, or not, then we'll put it in John's joke box here on this piece. Back to you, Savannah. So, LCMR, you see many things on LCM today. You see a variety of pieces, news alerts, weather reports, and of course, John's joke box. But what really interests you? Exactly. What would you like to see happen on our morning show? Well, thanks to a few members of our production team, we got the behind-the-scenes scoop of what our viewers are really interested in. Let's go find out what's up. A big show, uh, I would like to see some more serious stuff, you know, not so much as funny. I would like to see more funnier clips. I'd like to see more girls' soccer footage. I would like to see more of the world according to Nat. I'd like to see more uh, sports coverage of our teams. I actually really like LCM today the way it already is. I don't think anything needs to be changed at all. Hey Savannah, you know what I would really like to see? What's that? More of the accomplishments that people make around our school. Well then I have the most perfect piece for you. Really? What's that? Mrs. Eakin. She didn't only receive one accomplishment award, but two. For what? You'll see. I had the chance to interview her last week, so let's go check that out. Hello, LCMR. I'm Savannah Kang, and sitting beside me here today is Mrs. Eakin. For those who do not know her, here's your chance. Mrs. Eakin received two special awards in the past month, in which she'll tell you about in just a moment. But first, let's get to know her a little bit. Mrs. Eakin, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Certainly. Um, let's see, in 83 I was a graduate from Lower, and then in 98 I came back and started teaching. Okay. Um, so before you tell us about the awards you received, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Um, what do you believe is your most prized possession? Actually, nothing. My most prized things in life aren't possessions. They're the relationships I have with people in my family and people I work with. 
That's a very good answer. Has winning these awards inspired you in any way at all? Actually, yes. It's made it a lot easier to be a teacher and to <laughs> talk about teaching again in the community after the, the brunt of politics we've taken lately. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about these awards that you received? Um, in the fall, I received the award for Teacher of the Year for Citizenship Education from the VFW, mostly because of uh, some of the lessons I do repeatedly with the VFW. And then just recently, I received the uh, Acme Teacher of the Month Award, which was a lot of fun to get. That's good. How does it feel to know that you have not only received the award of Teacher of the Month, but also as Teacher of the Year? It's pretty amazing. Like I said, we've taken a brunt in politics lately, so it's nice to be awarded something that's positive. What qualities do you feel that you possess that enabled you to earn this award? Probably the fact that I actually teach citizenship <laughs> continuously. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one of the tested subjects anymore. You know, we're not math, we're not reading. But it is so important. Just look at today's TV. Look at the way we're going through presidential primaries. Mm -hmm. It's very important. With all of this going on, has your daily perspective of things changed? Yes, actually things have gotten a lot more positive. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mrs. Eakin. Congratulations on your accomplishment award. <laughs> thank you. I'm Savannah Kang. Now back to you at the news desk. Thank you, Savannah Kang. Here we are back at the news desk. Well, Laura, that's all we have for you today. I'm Savannah Kang. And I'm Lauren Murphy. And I'm John McDowell. We'd like to give a special shout out to Mr. Kobik and Mr. Fizemeyer. Thank you so much for our new news desk. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Laura Kate May. May.